Yo, yo, what up guys? It's been a minute since we made a real video. Um, man, I just hate when it's cold. Can't go out and race, can't go do nothing fun. But uh, it's starting to warm up here at least a little bit. Yesterday was 73. Today I think it's like 68. Tomorrow it's gonna be like in the 50s, but it's supposed to get a little bit warmer. Come on. Anyway, ranting, ranting. You guys saw the title. We got a box here from Racing Line. Huge shout out. So, when this, as soon as this dropped, I hit up Sean at It's Not Stock, and I was like, yo, Need this as soon as possible. And he has been on Racing Line's ass. I've been waiting over a month for these to get to the United States. And like, I should be one of the first people in the United States to be throwing this on their car. Um, well, really, yeah, because the Mark 8s just came out and uh, it's the same motor as this, like the Mark 8R. So, on the GTI, and the, between the, the A3 and the GTI, use the same turbo, and then the S3. And the R use the same turbo, same as last generation, but they, um, they're two way different designs. So the Mark 8 R and the S3, the diverter valves on the throttle body, there's no diverter valve on the turbo, there's no turbo muffler delete if you guys, you know, you know from the last gen, whereas the GTI and the A3, they do have a turbo muffler delete and their um, diverter valve is on the turbo and it's obviously a smaller turbo than what we get. So, this kit right here is not for the GTI or the A3. This is for the R and the S3 specifically, because the inlet and the hoses are different. Because the diverter valve routes back up to the intake hose to let that air go back through, and then uh, the inlet is shorter, I believe, than theirs. But let's open this up. All right, cut the tape. Oh, no, missed, missed a couple. All right, here we go. Grand unboxing. Come on. Yay, foam. There we go. All right. Here's the piece we're going to look at the most. And I'm reading on the websites, it's going from a 74 mil to an 84 mil or a little bit over that. So this is the inlet. It's just two screws. The last one was three. Oh, that's a little different. We'll have to see why that's like that. Uh, there's a nice seal on here. It's definitely a nice unit. I don't know. Oh, I think the emblem, the logo is there because that's what this will be. What's facing you when you look in the engine bay? And of course, you got some clamps for everything. One, two, and three. This will be. Um, well, let's see. You got the little. This is for the diverter valve to plug into. We should just um, push right on in here. And then it'll clip in. I don't know if the clamp, yeah, this clamp should be for this on here. So we go ahead and, oh, that may need some, some lubrication. Oh, no, we can get it. Oh, maybe not. It's a tough one. Pause. Boom. A little bit of lube, she goes right in. Um, we got a little racing line logo here. This will be where the intake meets. So go from here, something along these lines like this. But uh, actually, uh, yeah, something like that. But uh, you guys will have to see in the next video what it looks like exactly in there and the sounds and stuff. I'm gonna split this up. I do wanna grab my old racing line hose and compare sizes, see if there's uh, any noticeable difference. So, here is the Mark 7 version and this is the Mark 8 version. So you can see, um, yeah, the tube. They look about the same like diameter. I measured them, they seem, cause you see, cause it like kinda steps down. So it's hard to really get an accurate measurement there. But uh, they seem about the same. Just the size comparison, just a little bit longer. They got the updated logo on this one before they changed them all out. Very nice. I wonder, so the old inlet, you can see this like engulfs that. So clearly there is uh, some gainage here. That's really interesting to see. All right, guys, one last look at it. I'm going to, at the same time as this comes out, 
the video of installing this and the first drives and stuff is also going to come out. Put them out at the same time, two separate videos. At the end of this video here, in just like a couple seconds, you'll see like a square. Click on that, you'll see the install. Make sure you drop a thumbs up on both for me. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, we actually just got the notification last night. We just passed a million views on the channel, which is just awesome. Uh, to me, for someone just strictly doing Volkswagens and racing, it's like a, you know, it's a small market on YouTube. There's not all that many things going on for Volkswagens. There's mostly like JDM and American stuff. So, million views, to me, that's dope. And I thank you guys for that. Um, we're on the road, almost to 6,000. You know, soon enough we'll be at 10. Maybe one day I can do this for a living. I can actually build some cool shit when I'm not stuck being a slave. Anyway, um, yeah, look out for that next video. Let me know what you guys think. Love me some racing line goodies. Hopefully, uh, this is actually doing us some good. You know, we don't have a tune. No tunes out for this car yet. As soon as there's a tune available, I'll be on it. You guys stay on the lookout. Autocross coming up in about a month. And, uh, yeah, couldn't be more excited. One more thing, if you're new here, I got a whole rear end for my Mark 7 to go in. Whole, come on. I got a whole fully tubular billet rear end ready to go into this thing. I just wanna do one or two autocross events first and then toss this in. I got diff bushings, control arms, toe arms, bushings for the knuckles, slotted two-piece rear brakes, this whole subframe with the track bar good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.